Either God here coming to you live and direct with another video. And I just want to um talk about um the little mermaid and the woman king, you know, two of which movies I haven't seen yet. Right? And um I did want to talk about a lot of things, right? So y'all just, you know, just hear me out. Um, first of all, I was listening to daylights on um, daylights um video about the little mermaid and i want to talk about a couple of random things on how these beings have tricked us and currently still tricking us and also i want to say bro if y'all haven't cried if you haven't once cried over the situation that we're in you don't care Cause I know I don't cry plenty times. Every time I figured out, I be don't figure out something, you know how they done got us, so tricked. To this very day. You know today's Sunday, you know I'm seeing people walking around in suits still going to church. Cause you know some of these people they don't know, and um, and most of them don't want to know, so they want to hang on to religion. But um anyway, um long story short, Daylight was talking about him watching a woman king and I'm I'm just I just feel compelled to um you know let the message out, you know, spread the message the best way I can. Right? And he was talking about how um he cut the movie off um uh, Woman King. He cut it off and started crying. And long story short, he said um his sister had contacted him the next day after watching The Woman King, basically saying that there may be hope for us, signifying hope. The fact that his sister he hasn't seen in 30 plus years contacted him after he sent out a cry. Um. Also, people don't know that Wonder Woman, the story of Wonder Woman and Woman King is based off a um a woman tribe, a female tribe, the Amazon the Amazonian women, who are actually stronger than men, but men, you know, they don't want to admit that. Uh, you know, most men, you know, most men don't want to admit that women are the strongest creatures on this planet. <coughs> right? Um, women are very strong, I agree. They are the ones who bring <coughs> life into this world, right? Um, You know, there's a lot of talk about the Little Mermaid, you know, her being so-called black. And the Woman King isn't getting the recognition that it so-called should be. And I also want to say that no, um, none of these movies are going to help liberate us. Regardless of what they show us, we still have to put in the work. You see what I'm saying? We still have to put in the work. These movies are within their world. <clears throat> you know? So that's that's the only where that's the only location they're gonna exist in their world. We still have to act upon uh, these movies. If we wanna be fascinated with these superheroes, we have to be these superheroes. We have to be all of these idols that they put in front of our faces because they know we are, we just won't activate. We already have the powers within us. We just won't activate. And like Daylight said, you know, they keep promoting negativity. All we have to do is oppose that with positivity. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, <coughs> to to um transition from that subject, um, I want to talk about clowns. Uh, you know, my homeboy, he was just telling me about this. And lo and behold, I watched on um, Daylight's video and, he, and he's basically um, talking about the same thing. Basically exposing that the fact that beauty is a program for the for the women, especially. Beauty is a program. Makeup, all of that. And these clowns that they created, the clowns are created to mock the so-called black woman. These clowns, they have the little kinky orange hair, whatever, red hair, whatever. It's kinky. It's a kinky fro to mock the so-called black woman. You have a big nose they wear. 
the red nose, the lipstick to emulate the um black woman's lips, full lips, right? And they have makeup on and they wear uh you know most clowns they wear the little corset to make them fit the figure physicality of the so-called black woman. You see what I'm saying? All of that the clown overall is to mock the um so-called black woman. And again, we are not human. We are not human. We are beyond this physical flesh. But at the moment, we are in this avatar. You know? So, yeah. And and they're using these clowns to mock this avatar. The so-called black woman. So, like my homeboy said, I said I was going to... Um, because <clears throat> my homeboy, he had... um. He had sent out a whole video clip. He sent me a whole video clip explaining the the breakdown of how they got us with the with the clown symbolism, and we don't even know it. You know, I just never did um record it, but basically he was saying that they're clowning us, and we don't even know it. Literally, the clown figure is literally mocking the so-called black woman, and like daylight said. Um, beauty is a trap. This is how they get us. As long as the women are lost, you know, um, we going to forever be in this trap because it's up to the women to, um, help uplift her children. If the woman is sick, everybody's sick. That's why they use the system to get to the woman, the women. <clears throat> you see what I'm saying? And that's why, you, you see what I'm saying? Just like Mother Nature, she's always fighting. The so-called black woman has to fight too. And it's just, it's just so sad. Like These so-called black women don't even know how powerful they are. And like Daylight was saying, he said so much. Y'all, I just recommend y'all go watch Daylight. If you don't know who Daylight is, D-A-Y-L-Y-T, L-Y-T. D-A-Y-L-Y-T. Just type it in, and you should see. Um, let me see. I probably can pull it up on my phone. I'll show y'all. But anyway, um, this is him right here. This is the guy. If y'all don't know who he is. And it should, you'll see his page. It's um, one spun only, something like that, right? But anyway, <clears throat> beauty was an installment trap. Makeup. Like he said before, makeup and all of that stuff was created. Women were not worried about waking up to look beautiful or, or cute. You see what I'm saying? Once they got that beauty programmed in the, in the um, women... It was over because they got because they had got them mentally. Once they got them mentally, then they worked on the physical. Now women literally don't believe that they're stronger than men anymore. You see what I'm saying? And that's why I strongly believe that women could beat men physically before we were all conquered. But y'all do realize in order to beat somebody, you have to get into their head. That's the only way you can beat somebody. You have to make them small. And they did that with all of their little tricks and traps. And they still doing it. Making the women cover up their head with weave and tracks. And, and, and what's, so, what's even more sad is they pushing that on the men now. So now the men wearing tracks, wigs, and extensions and all the type of stuff. Like, it's literally in game because they've literally covered just about every corner of... um. Conquering us as a collective. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, like um Yeah. I still was uh still was watching that uh ledge. I just had cut it off. I put it on pause. You know, I'm, I might watch it later. But yeah, all I gotta say, man, we just we just gotta we got to do something. We got to do something. We can't just be sitting around just talking, talking, talking about knowledge, but not applying it as a collective. 
<clears throat> but um yeah they got the women with beauty you know you remember maybelline and avon all of these perfumes and different wig pieces that they advertise for women they got women so entrapped into fashion to where there's no physical way for them to even uh reactivate that amazon energy in them you see what i'm saying like first they got them with heels females they wear the heels the heels are designed are designed to make you fall that's what a heel is. When you walk down a hill, you fall. That's why they got women wearing heels. And then not only that, it's a challenge for you to wear heels. Literally, it's a challenge for females to wear heels. Because there's a 50-50 chance that you might break your ankles. So women still take on that challenge. You know, no matter what height of the uh, heels are. But yeah, beauty is a trap and um, women, we need y'all to get out of the beauty trap. Um, That's why um, most of these slave women looked it rough in these pictures because they fought for us. They fought for their children. That's why they look, looked it rough. But people joke on them you know, talking about their hair and stuff like that. But do y'all not realize that because women stay in the mirror all day, this is why we're losing to the system. Because y'all in the mirror all day trying to trying to fix up your face with all that blush and mascara, lipstick and lip gloss and uh, weave and eyelashes. But like, see what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. Y'all don't see y'all don't see the um y'all don't see the trap yet? Y'all don't see the picture yet? I remember um before the eyelashes it was the eyebrows. You know women they, they were good at making their eyebrows look that um like a painting or something. <laughs> now it's the eyelashes. I wonder what's next. All of these traps were literally for the so-called white women who could not match with the so-called black woman. That's why they push makeup, straight your hair, and stuff like that. Because the so-called white woman, before um, we were all conquered, they couldn't match with our physical features. So they created a clown and all of the makeup all in the beauty trap to get us lost in it. So they could be on a level ground you see what i'm saying now so-called black women look like so-called white women but at the end of the day they got all of us they got all races of beings and they were successful at it and i admit it these beings were successful at creating so-called white people so-called black people so-called other people they literally created their own world now and now we just now figuring it Figuring that out, and we trying to get a, get away from it, you know. So yeah, like like I saying, that's why that's one of the reasons why I'm single now because these women they they not about they not about that life like that. They not about nature and stuff like that. They can't they can't withstand being outside for a extended amount of time. They have to worry about their hair and stuff like that. So, yeah. And what's so crazy? They literally got a, they got a clown called Stephen King, it, a clown that's literally in the movie showing you how they mock the so-called black woman. Um. Oh yeah, another thing I want to talk. About. Oh yeah, they got Ronald McDonald. You know his ass. He ain't even being advertised no more. No more though. Um, also, I wanted to touch on um, 
they like made a good point about how women are stronger than men. Like men couldn't even handle no C section. You know, um they couldn't handle no holding no baby for nine months and stuff like that. You see what I'm saying? And also what it got me is when he said that men die when they get shot a, a certain amount of times, you know, bleeding out. But you got women who literally bleed by way of their cycle at a certain amount of time throughout history. Women literally bleed to clean out right but you got men who bleed and they die <laughs> so that that kind of got me you just got to listen how he explained it you know listen to daylight how he explained it so yeah he just one of the few people that I watch when it comes to this knowledge this this great awakening but yeah um there's parts of me that I be like man there is hope there's hope for us. I see us coming together. I see us breaking away from the system. But on the other hand, I'm, I'm like something detrimental really has to happen for it to put people for to put people in shock to where they have to react and realize what's really taking place <coughs> under their noses, <coughs> right? Because these people don't know. A lot of them don't want to know. <clears throat> um, before I end this video, I also want to um, advise y'all to watch Thor Love and Thunder too. That was a pretty good movie. I got to rewatch it though. They, they put some jewels in that. Love and Thunder on um, what? Elfmovies.com. I was watching it. They talking about this dude who kills gods you know so of course he came for thor the god of thunder you know but they always you know they you know they gotta whitewash it right but uh yeah it was a pretty good movie they also had in there where the the villain he was basically he he basically kidnapped the children and that's symbolic for what Kalai was saying we have to get our children back because it um, they are our future. So Thor and um, his significant other, Jane, they went after, you know, to get the kids back. That's what we have to do. We have to get the kids back. They had the kids caged up and everything. That movie was dope, especially the part where um, Thor had had allowed the, the children. He gave them some of his power. And that's our natural that's our natural version of giving our children an update versus how these beings that's enslaving us um giving us an update by updating what they put in the school curriculums. You see what I'm saying? And what they feeding on the children. Once we get the kids back, whether you have kids or not, we still have to get the kids back as a collective because we, we were once kids. And we got abandoned, like Kala said. We got we got abandoned, and we still are being abandoned, abused, and being um um psychologically evaluated by some beings that are not even part of our genetic pool. But as I said before, it's like all of us done got caught up in the trap now. So. Yeah, that is what it is. Pretty much all I wanted to talk about. But just remember, beauty is a trap. We're not going to win a fight looking good. War is not about looking good. War is about fighting for what's right. Fighting for righteousness. Period. That's why these beings they don't they they don't care about losing their own just to um maintain their reign. And they they don't care and they never will care. 
just so them higher ups can maintain their reign, they'll be just fine with, with sacrificing their own people. Simple as that. But yeah, women, y'all got to get out of this beauty trap. Put the makeup down, put the nail polish down, put the long nails down, put them big ass um, uh, sunshades that y'all be wearing down. Take that weave and tracks out your head, those extensions, and get back to nature and get back mentally strong and physically strong like we need y'all to be because you're the only answer that we have to this equation. Simple as that. So with that being said, Edie God signing out. Thank y'all for listening. Share this message. Peace.